Hi everyone. Hey, I'm sorry I had been away again, but uh, I have a, I was uh, working on my uh, uncle's house. We paint all the house with my husband and change the floor. So I have been kind of busy these two last weeks. And uh, since Halloween is coming, uh, I wanted to do something simple, fast, and I decided to make these cute earrings that you can see here. So this is uh, what I'm going to teach you today. Uh, so let's get started with the materials. Uh, you are going to need a dotting tool, something like this. If you don't have a tool like this, you can use a tooth stick. It's, it's not really very like important, it's just for the eyes. Also, uh, this for the uh, earrings. I don't know how you call these ones. These kind of findings two circles and two eye screws, like these ones. Uh, the polymer clay that I am using is in uh, the brand Fimo effect and uh, is this pastel color, uh, aqua or agua in Spanish and uh, also the black color, it's, it's the normal black color that you use always um, also something to cut can be a tool like this one or a exacto knife whatever you can use for cut and pliers for put the things together after for make your earring uh, and of course the these uh, baby wipes like these ones so you can clean your hands properly so yeah and uh, alcohol and some of these uh, cotton things for um, clean your project because as you can see mine got a little dirty but, it's, but that's because I have to change the mouth because it wasn't right so this one I, I clean it better but I still have like some air and things so let's get started uh, first I'm gonna take a piece from the aqua clay this is a little hard because I haven't used it very much and I'm gonna condition the clay a little in my hands it's, it's not that hard really but uh, it's very important when you go uh, work with clay to have the all the surface clean and your hands clean too so what I'm oh, sorry what I'm going to make is a circle and then divide it in two let me It's a little hard, my clay. And my finger, I, I can't put it to the back, so it's hard a little when I work with, uh, when the clay is too hard, but it's, for, it's nothing I can do. I, I should um, like go to the doctor and see what he can do, but uh, since I am traveling to Norway in December, uh, I wanted you all to know that um, I probably will be away for about three months. I will try to do some projects in Norway if I can. I will see if I can bring some stuff so I can continue with the videos. And uh, I will check my finger there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to make a circle like this. But I... I have to do it, I can't do it in front of the camera because I have little space. Sorry for that noise, it's my husband that is working. So my clay is very dirty, well not my clay, actually it's my hands. That even when I clean it before I start working, it still get dirty. So I will try to clean it a little. And after I have my circle, like this, I will divide it in two uh, 
parts to equal parts that to me never work I don't know why I never can cut it exactly the same even when I am standing for look better the cut but still it doesn't work and after I have that I'm gonna make two circles with each part again trying to make the clay more soft and when I have my circle I will start pushing it in one side something like that forming like a drop and then the the end the, the tail of my ghost the idea is that, is that this don't be too pointy so don't will get broken or like stuck it in my in the clothes or whatever or your hair and then I will do like this something like that and for the eyes with the dotting tool I will do two points let's see not this no this is okay one and two for the eyes something like that and I will leave it there and then I will repeat the same with the other earring I am making the circle but it's a little difficult to make it in this space between the camera and the table because I have a very little space again when I have my, my circle I start to pushing it in one side so I start to form the drop shape and then longer And I don't know why I always get one more fat than the other. <laughs> and then I have the other tail. And the same. I will make it a little longer. Then I'm going to make the eyes. Like this. And then I will clean a little my hands for I start working with the black color I have here a piece of black so what I will do is a snake a small snake something like that and then I will start taking pieces for the mouth and for the eyes really not need much really so there I have one eye but it's too little so I will take a bigger piece and I just will put it over there I have one eye I will I roll this tiny piece in my fingers forming a circle and then when it gets stuck in one of my fingers I put it on the ghost something like that the holes that I made for it and I will do the same with the other one I have the piece that I took I roll it softly between my fingers 
and then I put it in there I have the eyes for my ghosts like this and then the mouth for the mouth I have to roll make a thinner snake and for that I don't need so much clay either you just roll it like slowly and soft so you get it as thin as possible there now I take a little piece this part is difficult actually and I have a little hair here stuck from the baby wipe so there I have one tiny piece that you can see there and I will try to twist it a little so it will form the smile something like that and then I will take it in my hand and put it in the ghost and with the uh, tooth stick I will try to form it better or if it go to down bring it more up but didn't want it to work I will make it again this happens so you you have to be careful and you know that that I have one and the same with the other one All this process you have to do it like slowly with much patience and very soft so it don't you don't ruin the the face of your ghost and now you will uh, bake it for about um, 30 minutes and this according to Fimo if you use a sculpey you have to measure your piece and according on how much uh, uh, fat is the, the piece uh, is the amount of time that you will have them in the oven so I will leave it this in one side and I will use the same that I have ready so you know uh, immediately after it's baked uh, what I did uh, was to use a plier and I press the, the eye screw into the ghost, the head, ghost's head and I start rolling it like this until got into the into place like this then with the other set of pliers 
I open the circle like this then I put the ghost and the earring and then I lock it and then is ready my earring for use as you can see I will repeat again the same process you press it into the head of your ghost and then you start rolling it carefully so the ghost follow the line of the eye screw you can use a glue if you want anyway and then I will open the circle and put the ghost and the earring and then there I have ready my two cute ghosts I hope you like this tutorial uh, don't forget to get subscribed and give me a like if you enjoy it uh, feel free to ask uh, any questions and see you in the next tutorial bye